What is up, guys? You are the one stop vids. The Doc Dinosaur and the Professor Jack. Jack. So we went to turn for a hobby today. We played a draft for Unstable. You found a Dr. Dinosaur card. I did. Actually, I'm going to go find it while you talk about what we bought. Um, so we've been Perfect getting place. into miniatures, and um, it's more of we've been wanting to play D&D, but like finding a group is, can be challenging. It's like we bought the starter set, still don't want to DM our first time. So we're getting that kind of mental thing where like, we want to start getting into miniatures because A, they look cool, B, we have a lot of free time sometimes, and it's a cool way to spend it. So we were looking at D&D miniatures and like we got a few, we don't know how to do a painting video. And like, I guess Professor Jack decided to paint a lot of models as a kid, so, or build a lot of models. So like, he got some really small ones. Incredibly stupidly small ones that we didn't know until we opened up the box, but like we figured that could be a video for you guys to yeah. Get into hobby shop stuff and he's gonna show you the dr. Dinosaur card because It's pretty epic So I pulled this as my first random draft, so I was like, okay, so I know I'm building What's it dr. Dinosaur? Or is it darker anything really because it's any creature? But it's well, that's clearly, clearly a, a dinosaur. dinosaur in a doctor's uniform. Does that mean that Wiz has been watching us? No. Yeah. No. <laughs> um. So yeah, I used to build like a bunch of these models when I was a kid. And I saw these. They're mini Gundams, and we do like anime. I don't know how much it, Gundam he watched. I used to watch it as a kid. I haven't seen it in fifteen plus years, but same. Um, they were kind of cheap. I bought bigger ones before that were cheaper. Now, I want to apologize because I know these aren't model models. They're like six didn't. pieces. I didn't fully like read it. I also can't read Japanese all too well. Yeah. So it's like a six piece model. It's nothing too insane. This would be something for like your little brother or your little sister who wants to like do what you do. You got this one because it reminds me of Pac-Man. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, it's more or less already completed. It just needs the uh, stand and weapons. I also got a another one that he's going to put together. It's a tank thing. Um, I said the tank thing looked cooler, so that's the one I got. You got to sort of agree with him. So it's just gonna be like a really, really small dab of glue. Um, I know this isn't the best glue on the market, but, but for two bucks, it works for me. And we're literally gonna use a dab that's non-seeable. That's how small it is. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. Keep the glue on there, you just kind of wipe it off. That's literally just a sticky note, fold it up a little bit. You can use paint brushes or toothpicks or skewers. I had sticky notes. Yeah. I watch a lot of a, uh, a YouTube series from Adam Savage, if you guys know Mythbusters. Nope, never heard of it. Explain this. We are being sarcastic, America. <laughs> um, but... His thing was, if you ever find something sticky for cheap, like skewers or anything, buy them. Because you're always going to have a use for them. Holy oh, the arms move. But yeah, and they get a little base too. But I'm not so sure how that works. It's got opposable appendages. It does. You know, for the price I paid for it, 30% off, it wasn't a bad deal. Crap, that fits in upside down. 30% off of 60 Of $6. I did not pay 60 bucks for these. Yeah, I'm bad at it. It's like... It's like almost 2 bucks out. Yeah. Maybe 30-30%, so I'm going to take 2 bucks out. Let me just kind of... 
You don't need that much glue for these things. They made these things a bit like, tight. Jeez. If it ain't tight, it ain't right. I learned that while working on cars. No, it's putting it backwards, that's why. That's right. And that's the basic little, I'm not sure his name, I'm just going to call him the Batman dude. He kind of looks like Batman. You want to put yours together now? Yeah, I'll put my gun and converge together. I'm going to name this one Tank Guy. You know, we could also go through and paint these after. We're not going to do it in this video because we're not good enough painting yet. If they're already painted, why would we paint something that's already painted? To give it our own twist. Make it look how we want them to look. We do the same thing, but green. Ah. You need a multi tool? I knew that was there, yes. But you know, I have already done this like an animal now, so. You know, there's multiple pieces to open, right? I feel like I ripped a good chunk of the. I mean, for six bucks. They're not that great, but... You got 30% off. You got them for like 4 bucks. True. But still, for 4 bucks, it took me, what, 30 seconds to put that together? I'd rather pay the 15 and get a half hour worth of fun. You're not even going to glue it in. Just got to hope for the best. I'll glue an adapter, but... I really don't need to. I don't think mine came with a It didn't? I don't know. So apparently some of them have stands, some of them don't. Maybe because mine flies. And yours might walk. I mean roll, because mine has wheels. Well, I didn't see it didn't have legs. Do the wheels actually roll? Right there and I ain't got no legs. I probably did that all not on camera too. Probably. I don't think I did mine on camera either. You might have. I don't know. I was watching you not the camera. So I'm gonna take it apart and then I'm gonna do it all on camera. Step one, little gun. Shove it right in the tight little hole on his head. Oh yeah. Now he's a unicorn tank, baby. Mmm, <laughs> yum nom nom nom. Ah, let's see. We got we got the left arm. Let's put it on the left arm. Rawr, rawr, I can grab things. Now we got his gun arm. Now I can shoot things and I also have a bit of a shield if I turn. Brr, tank bot. Boom, boom, boom. So maybe in the future we buy more, like the ones that are like, 20, 10, 20 minutes put together and try to see if you like those us Maybe doing. Maybe we'll do a stream of us doing a big one, but not... Not 100% on that yet. Not this size. This no. is a joke. We... Honestly, if I... Was, if we knew was, there were more than four pieces, you wouldn't have bought them. No, I wouldn't have. I would have gone They would have been like 50 small pieces. Yeah, I thought they were going to be like little sheets that you cut out and everything, but I was wrong. Oh, well. Pretty usual. So you want to talk about your experience today at draft? I lost. How bad? Um, you didn't do that bad. There were six of us. I got fourth place. I got third. And we didn't even face each other. First round, I ended up playing against the kid who got first place. He, was, he beat me real quick. Second round, first game, I just got smacked. Beat down bad. Game two and three, I just demolished the other kid and like finally figured out what got my deck up and running. Game three, uh, round three in the tournament, the first game, again, I demolished my opponent. Second game, because he was playing control to um, kind of like figured out how my deck was running. He slowed me down and I stalled out. I had him at five health when he finally beat me. Then game three, it was just, he had an answer for every card I ever played. It, just, it wasn't a fun game. Yeah. That's just how control works, though. 
You don't really have fun when you face control. You can move his unicorn backwards. It spins. <laughs> that was an antenna. Right, an antenna gets Wi-Fi. Pretty wiffy. I mean, my first game today, I just annihilated the kid. It wasn't even like a fun game. It was really just fast. Second game, it was was more of a challenge. And when I had to go face the rest of it first, I get destroyed. Hey kids, get off my lawn! I'm a tank monster. Rawr. Oh, so what type of deck did you build today? Um, so we played a draft of the unhinged, unglued. Unstable. Unstable. Yeah, that that stuff. I did the green white um augmenting animal thing. Now we didn't talk about what we were gonna do before the draft, but I also did green white augmenting. You did mayo. You put in some red. I took the red out for my last game, which I think I should have just kept in because it was helping me. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. You guys are great. Thank you. Bye-bye! Ride a motorcycle.